Hey guys, it's Edward Solomon's Landscape here. I want to do uh, another series of videos. And so today we're going to talk about lawn mowers. Um, and th today specifically I have a push mower, but these uh, topics that we'll talk about, things we'll talk about today apply to pretty much any lawn mower, any style of lawn mower, um, things of that nature. So first thing, uh, especially if it's the first time you're bringing that lawn mower out of the out of the shop, out of the out of your um, garage, and uh, you're getting it ready to fire it up for the first time. A couple of things you want to do before you fire it up. First of all, check the oil. Uh, most most uh, mowers, if they take gas, they will take oil. And so making sure you're double checking the oil. If you haven't performed an oil change in a while, uh, usually it'll be pretty black. And so we would suggest at that point, go ahead and change the oil at least once a year on your, you know, your yards. Uh, typically is what you want to do for that. The next thing you want to do, um, you want to also check your air filters, making sure they're clean, potentially replacing those, and uh, air filters as well as the spark plugs. You know, it's always good to do that maintenance first, um, and then before you get cutting, go ahead and uh, get those blades checked out, sharpened if you have to. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, uh, YouTube is a great place to do that. We're not, we'll discuss that here today as far as sharpening blades. Uh, but there's great resources out there. Um, you can also take it to your mechanic, small engine repair shop, and generally they'll they'll sharpen those blades for a minimal fee for you. Um, and typically for a homeowner on a typical lot, we'll only need to sharpen it maybe once or twice a year. The next thing you want to check is to make sure you just want to do a check over the mower itself, making sure there's no bolts or nuts or screws missing, the tires are uh, on there, everything's in working order, nothing's broken damage that you can visually see on top of, underneath uh, of the, the mower itself. The other, the other thing you want to do before you really get going anytime is go ahead and check the gas. That way you're not coming back and forth or running out in the middle of the, middle of the yard, especially on the uh, mowers which have, which you drive around, your tractors, things of that nature, because then you got to take the drag the gas can out to you um, so those are good things to check before uh, you start service start sir start using the lawnmower start servicing your lawn um, again lawnmower blades maybe once or twice a year uh, changing the oil sharpen those once or twice a year changing the oil maybe once or twice a year on a typical homeowner lot um, if you're doing a little bit more than that you know more than about an acre so I would recommend maybe a little bit more the more grass you cut the more frequent when you need frequently you need to sharpen the blades and change the oil um, the other thing you want to check the, this is a push mower so it doesn't have a uh, fuel filter if it is it's built into the system it's built in for where you can't access it um, but a lot of these riding mowers uh, the zero turn riders the little John Deere tractors, they should have fuel filters that are able to be changed out. So I would definitely recommend changing those out as well to make sure you got a clean filter. Um, before you begin operation, the next biggest thing obviously is making sure you're wearing your safety gear, glasses, earplugs, um, gloves if you have the gloves. Making sure you wear gloves. You got the pants on uh, to help avoid any cuts or scrapes, and also making sure that you're wearing a sturdy pair of boots to ensure that uh, you don't get any damages or um, recommended steel toe, uh, composite toe, safety toe, things of that nature to avoid any injury um, for that. So today we're just going to discuss the operation of this particular unit the lawnmower or the push mower. Um, the other thing you want to check before you get going each each week um, before you mow, tire pressure um, and deck height. Tire pressure is not a big, not so much big deal on push mowers typically because they're solid uh, plastic tires and usually don't hold air. Uh, but on your tractors, your zero turns, those things, they do usually have pneumatic or air tires that hold air. And so you want to just double check to make sure that you have the proper tire pressure in all the tires. Uh, some have just the back two tires and the front tires are solid. 
but whatever your manufacturer has on that, uh, making sure that you check the air pressure to get a good quality cut. Deck height, always important. Usually, generally, if you're cutting the same property, you shouldn't have to adjust the deck height, but it's always good to double check, especially on your push mowers, um, on your riders, um, on your zero turns. Generally speaking, they're not going to move as easily, but it's always good to double check before you get going, making sure it's even on all sides. Um, with push mowers, generally, they'll have the decks um, height adjustment on the wheels themselves. Most of them will have them on all four wheels. Sometimes they only have it on two wheels, one to adjust the front, one to adjust the back. This particular model does have the adjustment on our, all four wheels. I've already checked it, but it's simple as just bending over, counting your um, number of pins, and then just adjusting it up and down to whatever height that you desire. Um, now, typically as a rule of thumb, in, in our area, we typically have warm season grasses such as Bermuda, Zoysia, some St. Augustine, um, and I think there's one or two others that's not coming to my mind right now, but generally speaking, those are the common ones, Bermuda and Zoysia being the most common warm season grass. Um, so just making sure when we typically mow those, we're mowing those at about um, two and a half to three inches depending on your yard, how smooth, how rough it is. Uh, most yards aren't perfectly level, so you can't get them down to you know, the inch or less that they, they say they want. You know, it's not an athletic field. So like I said, typically we're doing it about two and a half, two at the lowest end, two and a half generally. Sometimes we'll go up to three. I know in the summertime when it starts growing really thick and heavy, we'll bring that up a little bit higher, about half an inch that we typically would normally. Normally it's about two and a half inches uh, for us. So on a push mower, usually it's the whatever the lowest setting set. They're set up a little bit differently. Some will have numbers. This one particular does not. Um, so this one has, I think, uh, just notches. So just count the notches, whatever one goes lower. So this one, if I go to the front, it raises up. Um, so as I pull back on the front wheels, it'll go down. So that one's on three. Uh, and then the back, just making sure that, you know, because sometimes they're not always in relation to so sometimes the back wheels. Um, if I push back down on it, it'll go up. If I push towards the middle of the engine, it'll go down. So again, just watch that and then also make sure before you get finished, that they're, just double check to make sure they're all at the same level. So uh, the other grass that we typically encounter is uh, cool season grasses. You generally speaking, it's the fescues, uh, sometimes rye grass that should be starting to die down, um, but that's maybe potentially still growing at this point. And so typically those grasses will actually cut four to four and a half inches tall. I know our decks um, that we use commercially can go up to four and a half inches. The homeowner versions, not maybe not so high. I'm not sure, uh, but depending on your brand, your model, um, it, push mowers. I just say get it as high as you possibly can. Um, so whatever the height of your mower deck, just get that as high as possible. Uh, the reason for that is because fescue does not like the heat and the temperatures here, and so the taller the blade of grass for fescue, the deeper the roots, and so that helps survive through the summertime. So those are the two Bermuda, Bermuda um, zoysia grasses, two, two and a half inches, your fescue grass, as high as you can get that mower deck. So the next, the next thing we do want to do is once we get all that checked, um, we're pretty much ready to go. This is a push mower, so it doesn't have a battery. Um, a lot of the other mowers do have a battery um, where you just turn the key and it'll start for you. If it's been sitting for a long period of time, potentially that battery may not uh, have a charge or may not be good. And so you may have to um, deal with that, uh, maybe putting on a charger, possibly replacing the battery to get it to start. Um, some of our, our other larger lawnmowers are pull start. Um, so just depending on your um, mower, will it burn German if you have a battery or not. So anything that has to pull start will not have a battery.
Um, so yeah, essentially on all lawnmowers, so we'll move on to the actual operation of the lawnmower, this one in particular being a push mower. Whatever lawnmower you have, uh, there's so many different brands and models. Um, most everything's very similar, but they're all gonna have the unique features. And so I can't comment on every single brand here on this video. And so just wanted to let you know, if you're not sure, consult the owner's manual of your make and model uh, to double check the safety features. But generally speaking, the safety features on most all mowers are gonna be relatively the same. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about the push mower um, first, and then we'll kind of roll into some of the other mowers um, and some of the general safety features they have. Um, so obviously the push mower, the biggest safety feature that it has is this bar here, and that's the operator presence bar. Essentially being saying, hey mower, I'm here, I'm pushing you so you can stop. So essentially in order to operate it, you need to push this lever down. If this lever does not work, I would highly recommend getting it fixed, repaired, or replace the mower itself. Um, because that is a safety feature, you don't want to be walking away from it heaven forbid it be on a slope and it starts rolling while it's the blades are spinning and that could cause damage and it can run over plants god forbid it runs over an animal um, you know children could be there um, or even possibly yourself if you're not careful so that's the biggest reason why safety switches are there to reduce injury to yourself or others um, so that's for the push mower. So obviously push that down and then you pull it. Um, that's the simplest one. Then when we get into the other uh, mowers, they will have multiple layers of safety switches. Uh, the riders, uh, the tractors that you tip most homeowners, a lot of homeowners will do, use, um, does have safety switches. Uh, first one obviously being in the seat. So there is a, a switch that where you know, wherever you're sitting, uh, when you sit down, you put it in gear, it'll go. If you're not sitting down and it's in gear, it'll cut off. Um, as far as the other riders, the other one would be the, the, the uh, PTO switch, pull to turn on, pull to turn off switch, or you know, the one that engages, the, the, you know, turns the blades on for the mower. Um, if you're not sitting in that seat and uh, you decide to try to turn the blades on, the mower will not start. Um, again, for safety reasons. Um, those are the two big ones. Um, I know the zero turn riders typically have another one. Uh, they have the lap bars. And so if the lap bars are not fully open, then it won't turn on. Again, if you decide to get off, you know, they're, they're fully closed, then that means you're operating and so if you get off the seat um, potentially that's going to cut off so um, again there's all times that types of different variables when it comes to safety but the biggest ones are the presence bars saying hey i'm here um, if you're a rider it'll have a seat uh, sensor uh, and also a switch sensor for when you turn the blades on and off to make sure that you're actually sitting in the machine while operating it. Uh, same thing with the zero turn riders, same kind of concept, just a little bit extra layer. Um, and so those are the biggest safety issue, safety factors. So making sure that you're using those, you don't defeat those, uh, because if you do, you're gonna be able, to, you're now operating the mower in a very unsafe manner and could potentially cause uh, damage and injury to yourself or others. So. That's sort of the overall operation of a lawnmower. The next step is mowing the grass. Now, everybody loves stripes um, and different patterns. You know, the straight line is for us professionals is the most efficient way to cut grass um, because you're not making any extra turns um, and things of that nature. Um, there are other patterns that you can use, but there's not really, there's not a, a book that says you have to mow this exact certain way um, 
for for yourself. Um, there's plenty of different opportunities and ways to cut the grass. There's not, like I said, an incorrect or correct way. The biggest thing, regardless of pattern that you choose, um, is making sure that you overlap. I know with these push mowers on this one in particular, the deck is actually about the same width as the tires. And so with this one, you know, making sure you have a, a inch to two inches of overlap where the deck will overlap the last cut. So if you cut and you come back, you want to overlap where you just cut by an inch or two. Um, and again, it's the same concept with any of the mowers, making sure you overlap uh, to reduce um, any hangers or stringers. Uh, mohawks, we like to we like to call and joke uh, to our guys, hey, you left a mohawk over there. Um, but really, that's the biggest thing, is just trying to be as efficient as possible. And of course, if you want, like, I mean, if you want to make a smiley face, by all means, make a smiley face. Um, the uh, stripes um, come from the direction that you're mowing. And so when you're standing here, you're standing in one direction looking down, the light colored stripe is usually um, the mowing direction is going away from you. And then when you, when you see the darker colored stripe, that means the direction is coming towards you. So, and just because the way the grass has been pushed over. So if it's going away from you, the grass has kind of been bent towards the opposite direction. If it's dark, it's bent towards you. And so it's laying over towards you. And that's the biggest thing. So, but as far as getting it cut, I mean, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, each mower is going to be used and uh, handled a little bit differently. Um, and I can't cover all that, but essentially, those are the biggest things of safety and then just go ahead and enjoy yourself enjoy the time out there um, especially on you know days like today when it's about 75 degrees outside with a nice little breeze and hardly any sun it's overcast so it's a perfect day um, so just enjoy yourself but be safe might be mindful of um, other people mindful of the neighbor's kids uh, mindful of you know um, beds swimming pools things of that nature um, the other, before I go, um, I just realized, talking about discharge, uh, one th I apologize, um, discharging on a push mower, uh, we have a rear discharge. Sometimes we can use a bag. Uh, there is also a side discharge we can use a lot of lawnmowers, um, especially the riders will have the side discharge. So if you do have a side discharge, just be mindful that that can um, throw debris and grass fairly far and so just making sure that you're trying not to blow it in your beds because it'll actually blow pretty far uh, make sure you avoid uh, pointing it at kids um, animals things of that nature because it can cause damage windows um, so just kind of be mindful of that we use mulch kits which basically is just a blocker to provide for block that for us and so essentially uh, we don't have to worry about that too much. So, uh, but again, just uh, whatever way you choose that way, just making sure that all guards are in place. Um, if you're using the bagger, go ahead and use the bagger. If you're using the side discharge, making sure you're using the, the little shoot uh, blocker, the shoot cover there, um, that's down. Uh, so it's not throwing debris all up in the air and everywhere. So again, enjoy yourself, be safe, be mindful of what's out there and um, have fun. Uh, enjoy your time outside and uh, we uh, look forward to talking to you soon and uh, on to so again thank you very much for your time and uh, we'll talk to you next time if questions concerns drop them below